Okay, first things first, we need to get rid of this six bar of pressure. So we'll turn the valve and double check the pressure is off before we do anything. So the air will come up through here into the regulator and then into the oil reservoir. So if you pull this up and turn to clockwise, then it will add uh, air. And if you go anti-clockwise, it will decrease the air. Just pop it back down to lock it. And now this is the oil reservoir. So if you turn clockwise, you will decrease it and anti-clockwise will increase the flow. But you just need to pull it up before you do anything. And then once you've done your adjustments, press it back down to lock it. This is where you can fill it on the yellow, but it's not ideal. The best thing is, is to unscrew this. So go anti-clockwise to unscrew it. Make sure you don't break the... Uh, the feed hose, just gently take it out and you can see there's plenty air tool oil inside so just make sure this is filled up. Look at it every day. You can use air tool oil as recommended. Just fill it up so it's about an inch away from the top and you're ready to put it back in. Also remember as well is just to check that there's no debris down the bottom, there's no dirt or sand or anything like that. If there is, just give it a good wash out before you fill it up with new fresh oil. And just double check, make sure everything's locked again, everything's tight before you turn on. Turn this on just a little bit so you can get the pressure and there's no leaks. You can see it's built up, no leaks, so now you can go full on the valve. And here we can see the drips are nice and clear. Now this is also where you can gauge the oil level on both of them. The other one's the water and then the drips should be 6 seconds for 8 vibrators and 4 seconds for 12. So just adjust if needed.